everyone, happy Friday. Today is Friday, February 22nd. This is episode 17 of Fearless Fridays. Welcome back. Thank you for watching, whether you're watching on YouTube or IGTV or Facebook. I appreciate you watching. Um, and if you have shared this video or any other Fearless Fridays video, if you have liked, commented, subscribed, followed me on social media, I appreciate it. I appreciate the love. And as always, I hope that something that I share um, helps you or blesses you or encourages you or even challenges you in some way. That's my goal and that's what I love to do. So thank you so much for uh, tuning in, for watching me again. I want to tell a little story before we get started and actually the story goes along with what I want to talk about today. Um, so here's the story. Uh, as you know, my name is Trefina. My middle name is Marie and as a child, I wanted to be called Marie. Everybody calls me Marie. I introduced myself as Marie. Uh, my schoolmates, my friends at school called me Marie. My teachers called me Marie. Everybody knew that I wanted to be called Marie. My parents knew that I wanted to be called Marie. Um, my older sister's name is Monet. My younger sister's name is Michelle. So I wanted to be an M. I wanted to have an M name just like my sisters. At some point, and I'm not sure exactly when this happened, but at some point I decided that I no longer wanted to be called Marie. I decided that I wanted to be called by my name. I wanted to be called Trefina. And so the switch happened. I made my teachers call me Trefina. My friends called me Trefina. My schoolmates called me Trefina. My parents knew, okay, now she wants to be called Trefina. Everybody knew that I wanted to be called by my name. And that's where we are now. I introduced myself as Trefina. Nobody calls me Marie anymore. Everybody calls me Trefina. And I tell that story, kind of a silly, funny story, but I tell that story um, to emphasize and reiterate the importance of names. And when I say names, I don't, I don't just mean your birth name or the name you were given at birth, the name that's on your birth certificate. But really what I mean is the way you refer to yourself and the way you allow other people to refer to you or what you allow other people to call you. You know, in the United States, in our American culture, we don't really put a huge, huge emphasis on names. We, um, we just don't. Uh, there are many cultures around the world, in diff many different countries around the world where there is a huge emphasis put on your name and the name means something. And there's a naming ceremony and there are all these things done surrounding the naming of the child and the name means something and the child will live out the meaning of the name. And there are some people in the US that might do that, that might put that importance on names. But as a culture in general, we don't really do that. But I think it's really important um, to be mindful of how you refer to yourself and how you allow other people to refer to you or what you allow other people to call you. You know, you might be in a space in your life where you have grown, you've matured, you've changed, you've turned over turned over a new leaf. There may be things that you used to do that you don't do anymore. And there might be a nickname that came out of what you used to do or how you used to live, how you used to be, the lifestyle that you used to have. You might have a nickname that came out of that. And now that you've grown and you've changed and you've turned over a new leaf and you've decided, I don't wanna live my life like that anymore. I'm gonna live better or I'm gonna live differently, you have decided that that nickname, that thing that you used to call me or the way you used to refer to me, it doesn't work anymore. Now I want to be called by my name. Now I want to be treated in this way. And it's not just your words. You're not just saying that I want to be called this way or I want to be treated this way, but your actions are lining up or your actions are backing up the way you say you are now living your life. You're now moving in a new direction. Your vision is taking you in a, in a new direction. And so your life and everything that you're doing is moving you in a new direction. And that old name, that old nickname doesn't apply anymore. You have the right, and this is what I wanna encourage you with today. You have the right and the responsibility to require people to call you by your name. You have the right and the responsibility to require that people see the new way that you're living your life and no longer refer to you in that old way, but in the new way. You have the right to do that. Um, that's really my encouragement because it's so important that we are mindful of how we refer to ourselves and what we allow other people to call us. We know that our words have power and the things that people call us 
those names and those words have power. And if those things, if the word that someone is calling you, you know what I'm talking about. We, some of us like to call ourselves and each other certain things. But if those words don't line up with who you are, how you're living your life, if those words don't line up with your morals and your convictions and the vision that you have for your life, you have the right to say, no, don't call me that. Call me by my name. You have the right to say, no, that old nickname, that thing you used to call me, it doesn't apply anymore. Call me by my name. You have the right to say, I'm moving my life and my vision in a new direction. I've turned over a new leaf. I've matured. I've grown. I'm living in a new way. Call me by my name. You have the right to say that. Our words are important. Our words are seeds. And the words that we allow other people to call us, those are seeds that are being planted. So be mindful. Be mindful of how you refer to yourself. Be mindful of the way you allow other people to refer to you. And ask people, tell people, require people to simply call you by your name. Because you have a right. You have that right. <laughs> That's what I want to encourage you with today. I hope that blessed you. I hope that uh, maybe challenged you a little bit. If it did, let me know. Drop me a comment. Drop me a message. Subscribe on YouTube so that you can get a notification every time one of these videos drops. As always, remember fear is stupid. In all things, in everything, live, love, go, do, be. I'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.